Hello everyone, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays and we've got new moving heads for you. Stay tuned, let's learn how to map them. So guys, we added moving heads into, uh, well, we're starting to add them in to the PPD Pro layout. Now it's not gonna be included, it's gonna be a separate purchase. So if you don't have moving heads, then you don't have to pay for them. If you have the moving heads, then we're making those available to you. If you're a member, they'll be uh, on sale uh, per month. And then uh, if you're a non-member, you can buy them separately, of course. So with that being said, what I wanna start out with is I wanna show you how to map them. And now if you have, the Dominar uh, Lempa map moving heads from uh, Matos Designs. Those are the moving heads that we're using in our show layout in our PPD Pro sequences. So uh, when you're watching those moving heads, that's the same moving head that we're using. Now, if you happen to be using another moving head, let's say the Magical Light Shows uh, moving head from Tom Bet George, now you might be using a different DMX model. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna walk through the process of mapping from one, uh, one moving head layout from the pro layout, let's say, into your home layout. And imagine that this is your home layout with six moving heads. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a new musical sequence. I'm gonna go grab uh, the music. There we go, 20 frames per second and a quick start. And so now we have our moving heads. There's six moving heads in here. Uh, disregard the groups. The groups are really not necessary. The only group that is kind of helpful is this dimmers group. Uh, if, if you're using this, this model, I guess, uh, because that keeps all the uh, effects kind of open so that you can just look at the individual dimmers. Um, now, uh, whenever you see the moving head from uh, Dominar, you'll see that uh, their, uh, their model has an intensity group, whereas uh, this might be called dimmers on the Magical Light Show. Your mileage may vary on what your vendor calls your uh, dimmer or intensity on your moving head. What we can do really easily is we can go in and import, import effects, and then you can you can scroll through and find where you've downloaded that package sequence from. Um, that would be this song right here. And you'll notice that we have a couple moving heads here. That's your import, and you're just gonna match them up with the intensity files. Uh, excuse me, with the moving head files over here, and I'll do that quickly. And once we're done there, you can also, you can save a map, click save, and you can create a map here that maps automatically from the PPD moving head sequence to your layout. And uh, you can click save, and then obviously, uh, have that too easy map anytime that you want to come in and just import the moving heads. So what you see here is the moving head sequences. Uh, the effects have been added in. You can see that um, there, there could be some differences. Now this is the challenge with how different moving heads are set up. All of these are in most likely different order between different vendors and manufacturers of moving heads. Some manufacturers have uh, their version of their moving head with the dimmer th as the first channel and the second channel has strobe. The th and this is the Dominar uh, moving head. This is how it's set up. But it's a little different whenever you look at the Magical Light Show. So you're gonna have to do some what we call remapping of channels. And in order to remap those channels, we need to select all of the effects that are here in the DMX moving head setup. And to do that, we're going to select and cl uh, click on model, and then we'll go to select effects. And that's gonna highlight all of these effects here. Now I'm gonna do this quickly for all of these. And now what I'm going to do 
is I am going to use the remap channel function, but in order to remap, we're going to bulk edit. So if we right click over the remap channels button and we open up this other screen, what you have to imagine is on the left is where it is right now. These are the 40 channels that you're using. Well, in reality, we're only using like 12 channels, the first 12, 13, 15 or so. And then you're mapping them from let's say this is the uh, PPD layout, and then let's call this the uh, Magical Light Shows layout. Now, if you go to the Pixel Pro Displays layout, uh, website, and you go to the Certified Models page, uh, so let's go to Certified Models, go under Learning and Certified Models, you'll end up on our Certified Models page, and I, we've created a uh, DMX Moving Heads page and you can access this little helpful file here to help you map from or to before you start doing the step that we're doing now. So you'll probably want to go grab this little document and kind of work your way around the moving heads for yourself. Now, first off, notice that the PPD sequence has dimmer, or you could say this is intensity. You could say the dimmer here maps to whatever channel is on your moving head. So for example, the Magical Light Show's moving head is number one is actually channel number three. So what we're going to do is we're going to map channel number one, map it to number three. So I'm going to select number three here. So map channel number one to channel number three. And what that's going to do is that's gonna move whatever's on channel one down to channel number three. Notice what number three is. Number three is the dimmer. So if you take your time, and I have this off the screen here, I'm going to have this off of the right hand side, I've already taken the time to figure out my dimmer is number three, the strobe is number two, color wheel is number one, Glo uh, gobo wheel is number four. Um, you can quickly go through here, and I need to put this off to the side of the screen here so I can see it. And you can quickly go through and begin remapping. Number two is number two. Number one, this, is, this one is number one. All right, so there it is. We have mapped those. It looks like everything is correct. Now you can save this mapping, but we have also included inside the package sequence the DMX mapping from the Dominar to the Magical Light Shows. It's in the package sequence. So all you really have to do is load the mapping if you're using the Magical Light Shows, and this is all done for you. Now you click the OK button, and all of a sudden everything magically seems to work just as if this was in your house on your layout and working the way that it should be. So if we go ahead and render this out, everything should play nice and clearly. One last thing, it's rather important that we come up here to the shutter when we're using a magical light show moving head and set the moving head shutter to 255. And then what's important is that we right click and we bulk edit this. What happens is, is on the magical light show moving head, if the shutter is left closed, the light won't come on, the light bulb will be on, but the shutter won't be open to allow the light to shine through. So make sure that you go ahead and open up the shutter to 255 and the rest of the effects, those should work just as fine as well. So that's everything that you really need to know, especially if you've got the moving head uh, from, um, magical light shows. The important thing here though is, is that you take the time to learn what your specific model is set up as. So I want to show you this. This is a, a very um, inexpensive moving head. I think I spent maybe you know 40 or 50 dollars on it and it came with what uh, the, the way that the model is mapped and laid out. So I'm, I'm holding this up to the camera and what they should do is they should, whoever your manufacturer is, they should give you a list of all of the channels that you are uh, able to access on all of the settings. And in this case, this is the list of my channels. So let me go ahead and zoom back out here. Use this from your manufacturer because they should supply you with this and use that to help you fill in these empty spots here to map from. 
So in my case, this is that moving head right here. And uh, what I would have to do to map this uh, effects into this little guy here, what I would have to do is I'd, I'd have to utilize in the data that, that the, uh, the moving head uh, manufacturer provides for you. That can help you out by set up from your model and create a map, a simple map. And it just, I just have this off to the side here, and that's I created the map real easily and was able to do that. But if you guys already have uh, your channels lined up and you know what maps to what, this is the quickest way to remap a channel is to select one DMX effect, right click, bulk edit, and remap all of your channels really easily. Guys, that's all for me for now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We're going to do a webinar live coming up real soon and demonstrate this in real life. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.